Hey guys, what's up? It's Michael, or Expertise, or Shanga99, or Sensaces, whatever you know me as. And this is my new uh, computer, my desktop. Uh, I'm going to be going over that uh, in another video, or uh, something like that, a set of video or something. But uh, what I'm going to be talking to you guys about, or letting you guys know about, is uh, the Dazzle DVC100 fix. Um, so, uh, so... I'm just going to quickly tell you guys that uh, this error happened to me and it's happened to friends and I finally figured out how to fix it. I found a proper article finally. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how to do it. If you guys are looking actually just for the article, uh, I'm going to show it right here. Uh, so just this is the link. Uh, yeah, or I'll put a link in the description. Uh, so quickly, I'm going to show you guys the error that it is. Um, See now I have it working and see, but so uh, let's set it to DV and uh, let's go back. Um, if if it works now, it's because I fixed it. Yeah, there we go. So uh, and so I'm gonna quickly show you. Uh, it looks like this. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, so it looks like that. Uh, it says Pinnacle Studio. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's plus or not. It says uh, it's unable to connect your device. Uh, so it's saying that fire, uh, FireWire or uh, 1394 port on your computer. Uh, that just means that you got to do this. So I'll quickly show you here. Uh, click Setup, Capture Source, and then switch it to your Dazzle. If your Dazzle does not show up, that means you should reinstall the drivers. Uh, for the Dazzle, which means you would need the disk, or if you have a or Pinnacle or your Dazzle stuff uh, downloaded, uh, then you do that. So, uh, yeah, that's about that. And if you can just uh, click off this video, if you're, uh, if that was what you want to watch, and if you want to see, uh, um. What is it? My setup for like uh, capture and stuff. Uh, then just continue on watching, and I'll go over it. And uh, so here it says my video dazzle audio. You know, uh, TV standard. If you are in North America, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just North America that you need this. I'm not sure, but NTSC. That's your TV standard, and uh, aspect ratio is your choice, but it doesn't really matter between those it, it'll just choose if it's more of a widescreen or if it's just like uh... smaller and more of a box shape uh... i go with widescreen especially for youtube direct uploads but also uh... for people that are always saying oh how do you get rid of that uh... rainbow type of line that flashing line down there uh, yeah that's that really annoyed me but you're gonna need sony vegas guys uh, for that particular issue unless you can find something else that lets you uh, just crop it out or uh, zoom in on your video a bit so then you can get rid of the ba black border on it or whatever you need so I have it set to AVI best um, I'm actually supposed to set this to custom compression well, with height on yeah so it's the same for best, you know, it doesn't really matter. I had a custom one before, but then yeah, it's kind of weird. So I don't really like having those. It's just because it's annoying when you want to do that, but then it says no. Uh, so video preview. Uh, this will slow down your computer. My computer, it has quite a bit of RAM, but even it gets slowed down because I have Vegas and all that kind of stuff. Like, I have these things all running. And that's screen recorder, that's recording voice, uh, the pinnacle's recording my screen right now, uh, so, yes, I'm playing MW2, I'm about to start recording for, uh, commentary most likely, or montage, dual-tage clips, or, I'll, I'll figure that out, but, uh, so, enable bla background rendering, you definitely want that checked, because, uh, when, uh, for example, you go to make movie, and then you're, uh, making the movie and it has that orange bar on the screen that's your render and uh, if you don't have that on it'll just uh, it, you won't be able to really do anything or it might just stop rendering I automatically have that on and uh, if you don't just go to video audio preferences and click enable black 
background rendering. Uh, you can do all this stuff for your, if you like it. Uh, but uh, I use I clicked use this codec for background rendering. And MPEG best MPEG two uh, best for output to disk because if you have best to preview, it's gonna be low quality. And DV tape also low quality. Disk could be uh, it'd be above it. Uh, so, unless you do have a second VGA monitor, it's obvious you need the main one. External, nothing. Uh, if you want to do a live comm, this is the cool thing about it. I, I haven't used it. I just used Audacity on doing it. But I guess this is, uh, this is probably slow down, kind of. And if you want to edit out a part, it would be a pain in the ass. Uh, but, yeah, you can, uh, well, mine's not showing up down there. But... Yeah, you can have your microphone in and have that recorded. 16-bit uh, mono, uh, sample rate, you can have that for whatever. Uh, CD for uh, ripping audio files, but I don't really know what the point of that is because you're just going to have it on the video anyways. And that's just like a song or something that you're recording. Uh, so, automatic bass content. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what it is. And see, look how I have that up there. I I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So it won't it won't s see like I kind of have it there. And uh, edit is where I'm supposed to go. Um, hold on one second, just wait for. It. I'll just click a clip. Yeah, see these these all look decent quality. Yeah, like that's uh, during a search match. Uh, so you know if you have this uh... it's like you'll see that white bar and if i can find it it'd be good uh... pictures i'm just looking for the right editing setup montage themes these are just like um, i don't know they're like transitions I, I think that's what they are uh... but the here i'll drag down this clip um, right click, uh, clip properties. See, here's where it opens up. Uh, you can more precisely cut it and edit it that way. Um, you can put photos, stuff like that. Here's, here's a pain in the ass. Um, it's, I think I have it turned off, but, uh, I can turn it on quickly. Uh, so, I think it's, uh, uh, make movie yeah, back here. So, clip properties. Yeah, here's scale and crop. This is stupid as hell. Uh, because you could scale it and whatever, like fit it to just where you want it, you know? And then activate feature. Meaning, nope, you can't use it. <laughs> You know, that's it's kind of annoying. It's, it's stupid. But anyways, guys, uh, that got really off topic. But, yeah, so that was my setup. And, uh, once again, uh, just, to go f just to go over it again, uh, I will put this website's uh, link down below. If you do have a Dazzle, uh, then this will definitely help you. If you just have other issues with Pinnacle, and you also get this message, it'll go over through it. Uh, this one... The tutorial is showing uh, DV camcorder pinnacle. That uh, for DV for your dazzle. See as as you can see here, mine doesn't say uh, it doesn't have that right, but that doesn't matter. And uh, so yeah, this goes over pretty much everything. I was spending about I guess two hours on this, trying to find out how to do this, and uh, hopefully. This helps all of you guys. Uh, if you if it does, leave a like, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever you want. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. And uh, you can thank me later, uh, Christian, for putting this up because you've had a lot of issues. Anyways, guys, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. And oh, by the way, I'm going to do a commentary very soon. So, you know... Just look out for that. See ya.